anything can happen while shopping. Miss Empty Cart against Miss I Don't Need a Basket. Whoops! Annie's going through the hangers looking for the perfect item. Here is a possible candidate. And then a sales assistant comes up. Awesome wow. choice! It'll look great on you. Try it on. Hmm. Annie isn't sure. Hmm. But how can she stand up to this pressure? Once the sales assistant realizes that she has power over her client, she starts meeting her monthly sales quota. Take this and this. Wow. It's a pretty weird combination. But Annie can't fight back anymore. Even flip-flops with pink fur don't bother her. And a hat to complete the look. The consultant doesn't stop. You are made for each other! This girl might become the salesperson of the month. <laughs> Here's Annie. Debuting her new fashion look. And the first reactions. <laughs> look at that! She looks crazy! Maybe you should trust your own taste. Blech. Unlike Annie, Erica knows what she wants. I need a new white shirt. No problem, let's pick one out. Here's a good one. No, uh -huh. it's up to you to try it on. Sounds like it's not a big deal. But everything is not what it seems. Getting tangled up in a shirt. <laughs> hmm. Smearing your makeup. All over the white fabric. This is such a mess. It's scary to even come out of the fitting room. The salesperson isn't happy with this artwork. Looks like you are going to have to buy this shirt after all. Going to a store with a shopping list is a good idea. It saves time and money. You wish. Now, don't forget to buy some bread. Mary takes everything from the shelves of the store, and she hasn't even gotten to the shopping list yet. Her basket's full now. Oh, I need to go to the cash register. Okay, wait, I need to check the list. Well, of course, I got everything except what I came for. Classic! Shopping in a huge mall is so much fun. But not for Erica's boyfriend. Honey, I'm just going to take a look. Time is ticking. This is so boring. It's weird that Erica still hasn't come out. We need to start a search operation. Losing your girlfriend at the mall, no one will believe that. You are going to have to post photos of her. Basic description, phone number, and hope that somebody saw her. Here's Erica. The lost girl has been found. And she is very surprised because she was only in the store for five minutes, wasn't she? Okay, well, maybe it was a little longer. Oh, there are so many beautiful shirts. So many pretty shades. Here's wow. the right color and size. But the price! <gasps> oh, my eyes! Oh. No, I can't afford it! But I want it! Okay, okay, I'll take it! The struggle with herself doesn't last long, and Erica's going to try on the beautiful shirt. It fits perfectly! I'll be the only one with a shirt like this! It's so cool! And now to the cash register! You can put it on right away! Ta-da! Looks like this shirt is popular! There's another girl wearing the same one. It didn't end up to be unique. Not even a little bit. Hmm. Everybody's walking around wearing the same t-shirt. This is too much. And guys too? It's unbearable. Hey, why are you so upset? Wow. Yeah, he won't understand. Going shopping with a bulky cart? Oh, come on! It's better to go light. 
But for someone else, even a small shopping basket is not enough. Well, let's see how this will end. Erica starts picking up stuff. And pretty soon, she'll have a whole warehouse in her hands. And Mary is very careful with her choice, moving the cart around. Did she take this bulky cart? Just to hold a little chocolate bar? Well, Erica's clearly out of control. She could use Mary's cart right now. Looks like all this is going to end up on the floor. Phew, I got it to the register. Yay! Oh, here's Mary. It must be very hard for her to carry this huge chocolate bar in her hand. A sale turns a girl into a hunter. So, Annie can't decide what to get. Look at these discounts! What's the big deal? Let's get it all! Not a bad catch! So much stuff! Although, looks like there's nothing to be happy about. Because it's hard to call these purchases a bargain. The discount price is even what? higher than it was originally. Really? That's so unfair! <gasps> it's the same thing here. And here. Annie's angry. She debates for a second. I need a refund for all of this! <laughs> Bloggers are always blogging. Look at her! Well, she has to tell the world how her shopping went today. So what if she got on the wrong escalator? It's not a big deal. Maybe she thinks it's a giant treadmill? But she definitely succeeded at getting attention. And she got filmed. But she needs some help getting down from there. When some shoppers come to the store, they make it clear that they don't need help. Thank you, I got it. But it's like the salesperson didn't hear. Good service at its worst. Look at this blouse. No, thank you. This is so annoying. But Erica's handling it. The salesperson doesn't leave her alone, even in the fitting room. She is gone, finally. Now the main thing to do is get around the annoying girl when I leave the store. But it didn't work. Did you hear about our sale? This is some aggressive marketing. You can't hide. Oh, salespeople. They'll get you anywhere. Buying shoes is a separate story. Annie's trying on shoes with heels. Looks like her boyfriend likes everything. Yeah, everything's great about these shoes, except one thing. Now she's way taller. And her boyfriend can only look up at her. He wasn't expecting that. Wait, I'll be right back. Hmm, that's sad. They are so beautiful. <sighs> and here's her boyfriend with a new style. Should you try these on? Sorry, they have got high heels too. Annie's making a radical decision. Forget these high heels. Sneakers, that's what I need. But it turns out Charlie has a better idea. If he wears shoes with a thick sole, then their height difference won't be noticeable. Voila, you are so smart. Back to the clothing store. And this time, Erica wants to try on light colored pants. These are exactly what I wanted. Well, let's see. They are perfect. It's just that there are days when it's better not to wear them. And today is one of those days. It's that time of the month. This is a disaster. Poor girl. And this situation can only happen to a real shopaholic. Mary walks into a clothing store. And after ignoring the sales assistant, she picks up a bunch of stuff and goes to the fitting room. The employee obviously doesn't like Mary's independence. But the customer is always right. And Mary's in no hurry to choose. There are so many things. It's a very difficult decision. What do I get? The sales assistant is helping too. The other customers need help. Tell me, pick a size. Help me. No wonder she has no strength left by the end of the day. You can finally go home. 
leaving Mary in the dressing room with a mountain of clothes. Ah, I'm locked in! It's a good thing she has a phone flashlight and her panic mm. quickly turns into a good mood. She has the whole night to try everything on. Going shopping with a friend is the best. You don't notice anything around you when you are talking. Not even that. Your paper bag is about to tear. Whoops! Huh, bad luck. But there's a friend who's going to give you a hand. Or a whole bag. Now your groceries are safe. You don't always know which size will fit you. So it's better to get two at once. But there aren't always all the sizes you need. You have to be satisfied with what you can find. So now that you have a mountain of clothes, you can go to the fitting room. And here begins the most interesting part. Some jeans are too big. and the others are obviously a little small. Well, if you suck your belly in, you can walk. But it's really hard. Beauty hurts, but should it hurt this much? These jeans are worth it. Did you like our shopping sketches? Did anything like this ever happen to you? Tell us in the comments. And don't forget to like this video. Subscribe to our channel and click the bell to be the first to watch new videos on Troom Troom Select.